All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Let's get straight into them, starting with Liam, and he has two questions. So he says, what game are you playing in the background? And also, ASA, what is something popular that you think is overrated? In the last few episodes of ASA, I was playing a game called Human Fall Flat. That is a really fun game that I absolutely love, and unfortunately, they don't make enough levels in my opinion. I wish that they updated that game far more often than they do. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. But now for the next maybe like five or six episodes of ASA, it's going to be gameplay of a game called Psychonauts 2. So anyways, to answer the second part of your question, I don't really like to crap on people's favorite stuff because, you know, not everybody likes or hates the same things, you know. But I feel like one thing that's kind of overrated is Lego Ninjago. And the reason why I say that is because it came out when I was 11 and I'm 22 now. So that was 11 years ago and they're still making sets for it and it's just kind of crazy to me and I feel like it's kind of overrated I feel like it's the same thing over and over and over again now so I don't personally care for it but I don't really have anything against anyone that likes it or I don't like personally hate it you know I used to like Ninjago I just feel like it's kind of a little too popular like I don't think it's bad but I think it's just too popular does that make sense I don't even know next question is from my stop motions and he says ASA what is your least favorite Star Wars set uh uh, I don't know. So that's kind of a tough question because normally I like to answer based on like a year or something, kind of narrow it down a little because there's so many different options I could pick from. I'm going to kind of add a little twist to that. And out of all the new sets from this year, the 2022 sets, I'm going to go with the Razor Crest Micro Fighter because it's just kind of ugly. You know, I think everyone can agree on that. So yeah. Next question is from EK Story Lord and Double Clone Productions. And they both say, what are my thoughts? on the Kenobi trailer. So I'm not going to get too much into it because then this video would be like 20 minutes long, but I do think it looks really cool. I was kind of only just a little excited for the series, but now I'm like really excited because of the trailer. I think it'll be cool to see Darth Vader and Obi-Wan fight again because apparently that's going to be a thing. It's also a small possibility that we'll see Maul again, though probably not. And then of course all the Inquisitors, very cool. It's awesome to see some of the Inquisitors from Rebels. So I think it looks pretty cool and I'm excited to see what happens. There are some things far more frightening than death. Ah! So hopefully that answers your question. Next question is from CF Productions and he says, ASA, what sets do you think they'll make for the Kenobi show? So what sets do I think Lego will make? And honestly, I don't even know if they'll make anything. They'll probably make something because why wouldn't they? I doubt we'll get anything like crazy massive, but it would be cool to see something with some Inquisitors and Obi-Wan. Or they might do something that's completely irrelevant to the show, but that exists if that makes sense and so like we'll get like a speeder chase or like a ship but that doesn't actually happen in the show if that makes sense i think they'll make something but honestly i don't know next question is from mr blue and he says asa when did you start collecting lego potato well thank you for the potato i appreciate that more people should put potato in their comments by the way i honestly don't know i think i've just been collecting lego since i was like a baby like <laughs> i have absolutely no clue i've just i've always loved lego and so yeah i if i had to guess maybe like four so i don't really know i just i've always loved lego we'll just say four that's a good number right next question is from bogan bricks i don't know if i said your name right so i apologize if i didn't but he says asa do you have any hobbies apart from lego and then he has another question and it is what is your favorite star wars game so i'm going to answer the second one first my favorite star wars game is battlefront from 2004 i absolutely love that game i still play it to this day it is just always so much fun something random and crazy always happens and it's just a lot of fun and I really like that game so that's my favorite Star Wars game and then to answer the first part of your question because for some reason I read backwards I guess I guess I would say YouTube is a hobby because I love YouTube I'm always on YouTube I'm always watching YouTube chances are if I'm like building a Lego set for a video I'm watching YouTube while building that set and so yeah I just I love YouTube I'm always on YouTube so I'm gonna say YouTube I don't know if that counts but yeah next question is from just build it and he says, ASA, would you rather spend $500 on new Lego sets or retired Lego sets? I guess I would go with new just because new is probably better, right? Because uh, at least when it's new, it's not going to be like higher in value. Kind of like if you buy a battle pack from like five years ago, it might be like $50. So I don't really know. I guess new would be better. So if you're offering to buy me something for $500, DM me on Instagram and I'll tell you what I want. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Next question is from EK Starlord, and he says, Have you seen the new 187th Clone Trooper leaks? If so, what do you think of them? So, I have seen the leaks. I'm not going to show it on YouTube in case they end up being real and I get in trouble or anything. I don't think that would happen, but just to save my own skin, I guess. But I'm pretty sure they're fake. I could be wrong on that. So, like, if someone wants to correct me in the comments, please do. Because if we got sets with clones, great. I would get one. But if we don't, then I don't really care. Because I'm not going to spend, like, $800 on like 20 of the sets just to get the clones. I'm only going to buy one. If we get them, great. If not, I guess it doesn't really matter to me is what I'm trying to say. So, but I haven't been following a lot of leaks, so I have no idea what to expect. And our last question is from Trixel and he says, ASA, do you know the game Friday Night Funkin? If you do, what's your favorite mod? And if you want a, mo a mod of you, I don't know what that last part means. I I'm wondering if you mean mode. I've never played that game, so I don't actually i know the game but i've never played it does that make sense so i don't have an opinion on any of these other questions assuming i even know what they mean so no i just i don't like games like that where you have to press the buttons at the right time and maybe just not coordinated enough or whatever but i don't enjoy games like that so anyways that's going to do it for today's episode of asa so thank you all very much for asking a question make sure you ask a question for the next episode leave a like while you're down there subscribe if you're not helps out a lot i appreciate each and every one of you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time Goodbye!